Saransk is the smallest and least well-known of the World Cup hosts. The capital of the small republic of Mordovia, it's an example of provincial Russia at its best. Green, clean and hospitable, but with a thriving local scene that refuses to sit still. I'm meeting Lena, a Saransk native and Twitch streamer, who's going to show me what's going on behind the colourful plastic facades of this unassuming but surprising city in the heart of European Russia. So Saransk is the capital of the Republic of Moldova. Yeah. What is Moldova? You've named it as the National Republic, and uh, um, it's populated by the two ethnic groups, Moksha and Erza. Mm -hmm. They lived here way before Russia existed, really. Okay. Uh, they do have a very different from Russian language, the language that's related to Finnish, Hungarian okay. people. Uh, they do have uh, very pagan traditions, which are still cherished by, by some of people, by some people who belong wow. to Moksha and Erza. Yeah. Uh, the monument, like this one, represents the union between Russia and Moldova. Ah, the one on the right is wearing the Moldovian hat. She is wearing the Moldovian hat, yeah. So we're in the main square now. Yeah, called the Soviet Square too. Tell me about this very striking building. This is the White House. Yeah, uh -huh. people call it the White House. It's the House of the Republic. Um, it's built in the late 1980s, wow. right, right before the Soviet Union stopped existing. It was supposed to be in the shape of the waving flag. And I it was see that with the yeah, ripples. And it was supposed to be bright red because of like the Soviet flag it was bright red. Well, that would have been cool. We've ordered a whole bunch of Moldovian specialities. We did. What have we got here? Yeah, so we've got there. Let me start with your plate first. So those are Moldovian pilmeni, basically. Pilmeni, I know. Yeah, you know that. But those are um, made of uh, boar, wild boar. boar. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's inside of it. That should be delicious. Also, there is like what's called a Moldovian plate, a bunch okay. of kind of like dessert slash not dessert kind of things. First of all, we've got the Mordovian pancakes. There is also pies with mashed potatoes and then baked eggs as baked well. Baked eggs? Yeah, they're not boiled, they're baked. Baked. I'm going to try one of these pies. No, this is good. Is it good? Very nice and soft. You can see the whole city here. Well, not the whole city, but you can see the city center very clearly because you can see all of those plastic, you like more than looking buildings. Mm. Then you see the countryside looking buildings. People still live there. Small houses. Like on the there, small houses the trees, on there. Yeah. yeah, I'm on the trees. And, and, and then you can see like the Soviet like looking buildings over there. And like to the right of it, this huge stadium as the new well. Stadium. And new stadium too. So you can see that it's very contrasty yeah. looking that. Um, I doubt that you can see that anywhere else because usually we do have the countryside buildings on the outskirts and here it's practically like in the heart of the city. Feels like we're in the middle of nowhere. We are, yeah. I'm taking you to the secret place after all. Secret place? Yep, secret place. And what's that? That's a special place where the where the cool underground stuff is happening. All okay. the coolest people are there. You gotta see for yourself. <laughs> this place was started uh, a year and a half ago, and this place. Uh, is rented by, by us. Okay. So we decided that it is uh, much better if we can uh, have uh, some some place, secret place, that we have uh, all uh, responsibility for. Okay. We pay for rent and we are responsible for all these people that go to the place. Uh, 
Socratic yeah, theatre, exactly. if I pronounce that correctly. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah, it's yeah. You want to know more about it? I would love to. Sure. It's an experimental theatre. Basically, mm -hmm. all of the people, all of the actors, they're not professional actors. They right. do various things here, but they just love being, you know, acting, acting out. Sure. So, and they've they've put this place together, and it's pretty nice. So do they perform the plays here? Or? They do perform here, but the play that we're going to see today, it's not going to happen here. It's actually going to happen in a museum. In the museum? Yep. Okay, interesting. a very special place. It's the Museum of Stepan Erze, and mm -hmm. it's cherished by everyone, by the young and by the elderly of the city. He was, he's the most famous sculptor of Mardovia. He was making all of those amazing sculptures um, from tree. He's very famous for capturing different emotions, mostly okay. female. He considered female beauty, like naked beauty. He was, he wanted to put it out. You can see that basically. group of young people, they call themselves Periferia, Periphery. Mm -hmm. They've organized um, um, society of people and they organized various events. And one of those events is a sketch workshop and okay. I gotta show that to you right now. All right. with the more Soviet like buildings. Right. Yeah, and those types of buildings are very peculiar because they were first prototyped in Lithuania, Vilnius. Okay. But what the local architects did, they added the Mordovian kind of like ornaments there. The folklore. The folklore thing. thing, yeah. They might resemble the flag a little bit. Yeah, sort of yeah that looks pretty peculiar. Saransk is a living example of the inventiveness and resourcefulness of young Russia. The people who live here have taken this comfortable and warm city with its strong folk aesthetics and industrial heritage and carved out a scene of their own. There's eccentric electronic music, striking architecture and an independent spirit in Saransk, if you know where to look. <laughs> 